Okay, so let us now derive the derivation of the phase constant in terms of the Fc. terms of the cutoff frequency so now all of you is aware that the our uh, propagation constant gamma is related to the frequency uh, omega uh, that is the angular frequency uh, through the relation like uh, f square and that is nothing but is equal to gamma square plus uh, omega square uh, mu epsilon so here this uh, h square i can consider as a nothing but the s square plus a b square so i can write that h uh, square is nothing but now gamma square plus uh, omega square mu epsilon and that is nothing but equal to s square plus b square now substituting this value of this a and b that we already know that uh, a is nothing but now our m pi by a whole square and b is nothing but our n pi by b whole square so this a and b are obtained uh, because of the boundary condition applied we are getting that uh, uh, this uh, uh, a and B terms. So if you will put here yes, A and B. Screen, screen is yes. not visible. Screen is not visible? No, sir. Hello. How can it be possible? Yes, huh? is it, Anjali, is it visible? No, sir. 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 No, Can you see now? Now we yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. So, so let me once again show you the derivation. You know, we are trying to derive the phase constant, uh, and that is nothing but the our beta g, and that is nothing but in terms of the cutoff frequency f c. So, as you aware that uh, this. Uh, 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 h square is nothing but can be expressed as a gamma square plus omega square into mu epsilon where uh, h square is nothing but the ab uh, s square plus b square so here uh, i can express that uh, this h square uh, as is a gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon that is nothing but equal to s square plus b square so screen is ah, visible yes. but opposite direction oh uh, once again same problem now it's fine no, 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 sir. Now? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, yes. sorry once again. Okay, fine. So, uh, what does it mean? That our objective here uh, is to get the uh, phase constant beta j in terms of the fc. So, we have derived that uh, this h square is nothing but our kc square, uh, and that is nothing but is our equal to kx square plus ky square from our previous class okay so this cutoff wave number uh, kc square is nothing but is equal to h square and that is only equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon and uh, we have also seen that uh, with respect to the direction of the x and y the cutoff numbers are nothing but the kx and ky and that is nothing but i have mentioned here as a, a and b so and uh, we obtain that uh, by using the boundary condition this a and b are nothing but the m pi by a whole square and uh, b is nothing but the n pi by b whole square so if i will put this a and b uh, in this expression then i will get the uh, h square is nothing but equal to gamma square uh, plus uh, omega square mu epsilon and that is nothing, uh, that is nothing but equal to m pi by a whole square plus uh, m pi by b whole square so 
uh, I can make it that gamma square is nothing but now equal to the n pi by a all square plus uh, n pi by b uh, all square uh, minus omega square mu into epsilon. So now you can have the idea that let at uh, uh, gamma equal to 0 all of you know that uh, uh, once the propagation constant become 0 and uh, f equal to uh, f c or uh, omega equal to 2 pi f and where f is let it be considered as a f c then uh, that omega will become omega c so what will happen at this point uh, i can set the propagation constant become 0 so i will get the for a, a cut off frequency the propagation constant become 0 and that is nothing but equal to the a 0 that is equal to m pi by a whole square plus uh, n pi by b whole square minus omega square but now it is omega c into mu into epsilon because at the cutoff frequency uh, we will get the propagation constant equal to 0. So now uh, let me put everything is in terms of the omega square mu epsilon then I will get uh, that is nothing but equal to m pi by a whole square plus uh, n pi by b whole square. So uh, we also now have the idea that uh, uh, we have derived this part that the gamma square is nothing but the uh, because uh, uh, we already know that uh, uh, gamma square uh, that is nothing but equal to uh, so uh, what I will put here this uh, uh, all this uh, gamma square I will put it here so what I will get here gamma square so uh, everything is in terms of the now uh, I can say that uh, gamma square that will become equal to omega c square mu epsilon minus omega square mu epsilon. So uh, it means that uh, uh, I have directly put that it is nothing but equal to h square or that is nothing but equal to s square plus b square. So if I will put uh, uh, in these two uh, in these expressions uh, uh, these values then I will get the gamma square will become now omega c square mu epsilon minus omega square mu epsilon. And, uh, uh, if I assume that now for a wave propagation along the uh, lossless wave, wave guide that uh, for a wave propagation along the, the lossless wave guide then uh, all of you know that the wave propagation constant will become gamma and that it will become equal to j beta okay as alpha is equal to 0 so attenuation constant become 0 and our propagation constant gamma will become j beta so if i will put this gamma is equal to j beta in this expression x then what i will get i will get the j beta whole square and that is nothing but equal to omega c square uh, mu epsilon minus uh, omega square mu epsilon. So if I will now simplify these expressions then what I will get it will become a uh, j square so it will become minus 1 so uh, uh, beta square and this term will become positive and this term will become a negative so omega square uh, mu epsilon minus omega c uh, mu epsilon. So beta square um, uh, and uh, let me come out this omega uh, square mu epsilon outside this term. So that will become uh, omega square uh, mu epsilon and in bracket 1 minus omega c square mu epsilon divided by omega square mu epsilon. So now uh, if I will solve, I can see that uh, this part will cancel out. So directly I will get uh, beta square will become omega square mu mm, mm, epsilon and 1 minus omega c square by omega square. So now it is very easy that uh, if I have to put beta equal to then make it all the square root. So what will happen? It will become like in this way. So omega square mu mm, epsilon mm, 1 minus omega c square by omega square. So 
now everything is clear so if i will put uh, if i will try to replace this uh, in terms of the fc then uh, uh, it will become like uh, that uh, 2 pi fc so fc uh, uh, 2 pi 2 pi will also cancel so finally i will get the phase constant theta in terms of the uh, fc terms also in this way that the omega square root of mu uh, uh, epsilon and in bracket square root of 1 minus fc over f whole square and then this way. so these are the two major expressions uh, for the phase constant uh, in a waveguide for the uh, in terms of the fc okay so this is the phase constant expressions in terms of the cutoff frequency fc so once you know now that uh, what is the our operating frequency and what is the medium so permeability and permittivity and uh, what is our operating frequency f then you can easily calculate the phase constant in a guide that is nothing but the beta g so beta g is now nothing but omega square root of epsilon in bracket square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square so uh, you can now easily have the idea that uh, the the way in which the wave is going to be propagated inside the guide the s constant is a function of the angular frequency operating frequency and the cutoff frequency so uh, this is what uh, the derivation of the s constant uh, beta g so because uh, uh, when i have tried to explain you the conditions uh, and uh, that uh, when the wave can be propagated inside the guide i have directly written this expression i think all of you are aware so now this is the proof okay so this is the proof of the phase constant so now you can uh, have the idea that why i have written uh, uh, this phase constant expressions in these uh, fashions so uh, with this uh, this is the derivation of the phase constant beta g and now uh, let me derive one more uh, uh, parameters uh, that is also uh, sometimes asked in your exam too so that is nothing but the wave impedance of the uh, te uh, waves in a rectangular wave guide so wave impedance of te wave so i think last time i have directly given you these expressions too in a rectangular wave guide okay so how to derive this part so now all of you aware that uh, all of you aware that uh, the wave impedance uh, in case of the uh, wave guide a uh, rectangular wave guide in particular in a te map uh, that is nothing but equal to uh, z te for example and that is nothing but the ratio of the two uh, field one is called the ex by uh, hy and uh, uh, when we have derived this uh, ex and ey uh, sorry hy uh, all of you uh, when we have derived the uh, te wave in a rectangular wave guide we obtain this expressions of the ex and hy so let me put here that expressions once again so that was nothing but uh, ex was uh, nothing but uh, that we obtain like uh, minus gamma by uh, this uh, uh, kc square del ez by uh, del x minus uh, j omega mu by kc square i think del uh, hz by del y so this one was our uh, ex part same way the hy part was nothing but the minus gamma by uh, kc square del hz by del y minus j omega epsilon by kc square and del ez by del x so if you put this ex and e, uh, e, uh, hy value in this case and uh, uh, we also aware that uh, for a te wave ez equal to zero are you getting and gamma is nothing but our j beta then uh, 
here uh, because uh, ez term is itself is zero so this term will become uh, i think uh, zero and this term will also become zero so ultimately i will get the impedance in a te mode that is nothing but the minus j omega uh, uh, so so what will happen uh, you will find the whatever the uh, ez direct term uh, you can put it uh, directly zero so j omega uh, mu by a k c square del h z by del y and that is nothing but the uh, and denominator part minus uh, so here uh, this term will become present this term will become zero so minus uh, uh, gamma by k c square del h z by del y so this way i have now the the wave impedance of uh, the te wave in a rectangular wave guide is nothing but having a uh, uh, some ratio of the hz functions so now all of you aware this is nothing but is equal to i can say that the j omega mu by uh, propagation constant or as i know that this propagation constant itself is nothing but equal to uh, uh, j beta so j omega mu by j beta so i can write that j j will cancel so this whole term is equal to i can set that the omega mu by beta so if uh, i will now try to solve these two part uh, then i will get the z t e and that will become equal to omega mu mm? and uh, uh, here also you can see that uh, i can uh, uh, i can easily write that uh, uh, this uh, beta uh, this beta term uh, we have already seen that uh, that is nothing but uh, uh, the beta g in the guide and uh, uh, that is nothing but i can write here because just we have derived this expression beta g so if i will put here then i will get the square root of uh, mu epsilon and uh, in terms of the omega i can write that uh, it is nothing but our uh, omega square minus uh, omega c square so only thing that i have did is uh, i have written it in in terms of the uh, in terms of the uh, omega earlier i have written uh, the expression beta g in terms of the the i can say that in terms of the cut off frequency so now if i will uh, uh, if i will use these expressions and try to simplify then what will happen uh, that uh, this term Ah, this term mu mu. So I can write easily that. Ane omega ne ho ya denominator ma lavi do. So omega ne ya under na bag ma enter karo ma ave. So what will happen that uh, it will become like a square root of mu mu. So it will become like a square root of mu by uh, square root of epsilon and then omega square minus omega c square. So if I will simplify these expressions, I will come denominator ma muki do. so i will get in this way think here this 1 by square root of mu by square root of mu epsilon is nothing but our intrinsic impedance and uh, this will become like a 1 minus uh, omega c by omega all square so this will become like a eta by over uh, 1 minus fc over f all square so this way i can obtain that uh, the zte ha huh? is nothing but uh, uh, everything is in terms of the is in, in terms of the frequency if you say then it is considered as a eta uh, square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square and if i want to if i want to write uh, everything is in um, everything is in terms of the wavelength for example then uh, this term denominator and numerator will uh, exchange so it will become like a square root of uh, 1 minus uh, lambda 0 by lambda c all squares so inverse okay otherwise everything will be same so here it is very clear that uh, uh, the always you will get the zte is always be greater than the uh, intrinsic impedance so it is very clear because it this part is in terms of the denominator and uh, 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 you will always find that uh, the Uh, when you put any value then you will get the greater than that intrinsic impedance so as lambda is always lambda 0 is always be lesser than the lambda c so we will get the impedance in a te 
well uh, web impedance will be always be get, will be greater than the intrinsic impedance so in this i can write also so it shows that the the wave impedance for the te wave is always greater than this test impedance okay so this is what the derivation of the uh, for the te wave same way also uh, you can uh, derive for the uh, the tm wave too i am not deriving but i am directly writing here that for the for the tm mode you will get uh, the intrinsic impedance uh, that will become like a, the relations uh, will become like a eta into earlier it was in a denominator part but now here it you will get uh, uh, in a direct in a multiplication so x c by f square so this is what the the impedance uh, i can say that the impedance of the uh, tm uh, wave impedance for the tm wave uh, and uh, which is you can you can see that now it may be that it is lesser than the that uh, uh, the free space wave impedance so ultimately what will happen I can also argue that the total intrinsic impedance, free space impedance, eta square, will always be equal to the impedance of that TE and multiply by the intrinsic impedance of the TM wave. So I can say that that is nothing but equal to ZTE into ZTM. So the final expressions uh, for the intrinsic impedance is nothing but the eta square is nothing but the ZTE into ZTM. So this is also crucial uh, expressions to express the uh, the wave impedance of the TE and TM wave uh, in terms of the intrinsic impedance. So is it clear? Is it clear? Hello, Jaydeep, Anjali. Hello, is it clear? Yes, Are you sir. What I try to explain. Okay, fine. So uh, because in my last class uh, I was in a slightly in hurry uh, to express each and every uh parameter huh? so uh, i think i have given directly the expressions i have not derived it so i feel that uh, no i i should also derive the expressions so uh, uh, this time uh, uh, i try also to explain you uh, the derivation of the uh, phase constant beta g i also now try to derive the, the wave impedance uh, in a te mode te wave and in a tm wave too so uh, this is what uh, the uh, the derivations. So yes, anyone have any, any uh, questions uh, regarding this part? Yes or no? I think we have already derived. Okay, everything is in terms of the uh, cutoff wavelength no derivation point. After Joy Luis Hathu, whatever last time uh, I have derived the cutoff wavelength or cutoff frequency in terms of the m and n and in terms of the physical parameter. So now I am not deriving that expressions. So now all of you aware that the derivation of the cutoff frequency and the cutoff wavelength. Okay, so I hope that now uh, you have now the the better idea about the expressions and the physical uh, uh, significance of that uh, uh, that uh, I can say that uh, uh, parameters. So, okay, sir. So no. Okay, fine. Now uh, only the term that I miss is. Uh, I can say that uh, the phase velocity. Yes, last time also I have derived the phase velocity. Okay, uh, but uh, I feel that uh, uh, I have not derived that part. Okay, so let me derive that uh, uh, phase uh, velocity and the group velocity and the uh, wavelength and the impedance relations. So uh, let me derive. So very quickly, it will take only two to three minutes only. So let me first derive the wavelength and the impedance relations. Okay. So wavelength and the impedance relation. So each and every terms are uh, are really will give you the idea about the wave behavior. So we all know 
that the phase velocity uh, uh, v p uh, can be expressed as in terms of the lem uh, any velocity can be expressed in terms of the uh, frequency and the wavelength. So that is the thing. But our uh, uh, here particularly this v p is the thing. But our phase velocity uh, in waveguide that can be expressed in terms of the lambda g. That is the thing. But our guide wavelength and the operating frequency. So that can be expressed as a lambda g by lambda zero into c. So this way the phase velocity. Vp is nothing but the lambda g into f or lambda g by lambda zero into c. So even I know that the phase velocity. Last time also I have derived that it is nothing but equal to c over a uh, uh, one minus a uh, lambda by lambda c all square. So what I can do that uh, I can now simply put uh, these two expressions one and two equal. Uh, then I will get the c. Divided by one minus uh, lambda c by lambda zero by lambda c square, and that is nothing but equal to lambda g by lambda uh, not into c. So now it is very obvious c c will cancel. So uh, now everything uh, you will get in terms of the lambda g. So lambda g is become like a lambda zero by one minus uh, lambda zero by lambda c all square. So what you can get now? So now you know that now the, I have the wavelength relations. And the last time I direct appeal was I have not derived. So now you can say that this is the derivation of that guide wavelength. So and uh, uh, I can also express uh, this expressions in terms of the uh, this way also. So I know simplification karune. So I will get that the one over lambda zero square uh, that will become equal to one over lambda g square plus uh, one over lambda c. Square. So, as a be equation, che, a thumbnail, jare thumbnail, laboratory ni under a jare koi guide wavelength, athwato cut off wavelength ne calculate karta hoy, athwato operating frequency measurement karta hoy, jare equation kama hoy. And that's why it is very, very important. So, please remember these two expressions which actually express the guide wavelength in terms of the wavelength, in terms of the guide wavelength. And in terms of the cutoff wavelength. Okay, so this is what uh, the the wavelength and uh, its relations. Now let me derive. As I mentioned, that uh, we have not derived the uh, we have not derived the the group velocity. So what will happen? Uh, let me clear that uh, as I mentioned that uh, in waveguide uh, there are more than one. Mode can be exist, and that more than one mode when propagate, it will happen that uh, uh, you need to uh, measure or you need to define the uh, group velocity because earlier for the single mode you may consider that there is a unique uh, uh, one uh, uh, phase velocity, but because here we have the more than one mode, so we need to calculate. The group velocity of that uh, overall uh, uh, EM wave. So for that case, uh, uh, we can uh, argue that the group velocity can be defined as as the rate at which the wave propagates to the waveguide. So I can write here the the rate at which the wave Propagate through the the waveguide, and uh, all of you aware that now the group velocity is nothing but I can express in terms of the omega and beta, and because it is a uh, it is the rate at which uh, so you will get the everything is in terms of the d omega by d beta, so. The rate in which this phase constant will change, you will find the uh, the the final group velocity. So here we already know that this beta is nothing but now we have already divided, uh, derived. So beta is nothing but our uh, phase constant uh, in a waveguide, and that is nothing but equal to uh, mu abs uh, uh, square root of mu epsilon in bracket 
omega square minus a omega c square and if i will put uh, uh, and try to derive uh, uh, these terms then what will happen so let me now uh, differentiate uh, differentiate with respect to, to the omega to this beta g then what i will get then i will get one minute the fault let me take one more test so if i will derive uh, and if i'll try to differentiate uh, this uh, beta g with respect to the omega then i will get uh, uh, db by d omega and that is nothing but equal to because uh, uh, this is square root so all of you over the derivations it is nothing but like a uh, 1 by 2 in bracket uh, uh, omega square minus omega c square and uh, you know, epsilon and uh, and sorry and once again you have to do the multiplication so in multiply because uh, everything is so you will get the 2 omega so sorry 2 omega mu into epsilon so now 2 uh, 2 can cancel and uh, i can uh, express that the db by d omega that is a thing but equal to because here uh, in a square root of mu epsilon here it is a mu epsilon so in denom uh, numerator part you will get the square root of mu epsilon and uh, uh, here if i will put everything is in terms of the so once again that omega c omega so i will i can write uh, 1 minus uh, omega c by omega whole square so now if i will solve uh, or if you if i would like to try to write everything in terms of the fc then i may write uh, 1 minus fc by f whole square so now uh, you can see that now uh, group velocity vg that we have defined is nothing but the d omega by d beta so that is nothing but equal to 1 minus fc over f whole square uh, divided by square root of epsilon so uh, i can write now that uh, it is nothing but uh, look like a because uh, here let me clear that uh, if you put uh, 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 this uh, in a free space for example then this 1 over square root of mu epsilon will become like a uh, c so c is nothing but our light velocity so the group velocity will become a c into square root of 1 minus fc over f whole square so this is the group velocity expression uh, in terms of the uh, fc same way i can write the expressions group velocity in terms of the wavelength and that is the thing but equal to uh, c into square root of uh, 1 minus uh, now it is inverse so lambda 0 by lambda c whole square so this expressions is in terms of the lambda this expression is in terms of the frequency so uh, you can now the how the how the clear idea that uh, uh, clear idea that the the if now you can see clearly from these two expressions that if you multiply the phase velocity and group's velocity then you will get uh, your original uh, 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 light velocity so if you take the vp into vg for example where uh, vp is nothing but our uh, uh, up phase velocity and that is defined as in this way let's see square root of 1 minus uh, lambda 0 by lambda c whole square and now we have defined the group velocity and that is nothing but equal to uh, the c into square root of 1 minus lambda 0 by lambda c square so from this it is very clear this part will cancel out and you will get the c square so please remember that uh, this way the relation uh, uh, between the speed of the light with the phase velocity and the group velocity is the thing but equal to vp into vg that is nothing equal to c square so this is also a very crucial uh, uh, expression to understand the the group velocity and the phase velocity so yes any doubt regarding this part now clear so we have seen the phase velocity yes we have seen now the group velocity and now we have the idea about uh, that the product of these two velocity phase velocity and the group velocity that is nothing but the square of that the speed of the light so this way i think uh, 
now i have covered uh, almost uh, all the major uh, uh, major expressions so uh, i will uh, i will stop here uh, for the today's part and uh, uh, in our next class uh, we will uh, i will try to cover each and every expressions and i will try to compare okay so we will see the te wave we will see the tm wave and we will try to compare each and every uh, parameter and try to see the the relation between uh, this te and tm wave and we will also compare this te and tm wave too so and uh, time permits we will also see in our next class the circular uh, wave guide so till now we have discussed only the the rectangular wave guide and we have discussed the tem and more and tm m and more but uh, in our next class we will also try to see the the next uh, shape of wave guide and that is the thing but the circular shape wave guide so with this uh, let me first uh, stop here uh, recording and